Hello everyone, welcome to another Friday new product post here at SparkFun Electronics. This is Robert and we've got a few really cool products to talk about, so let's see what we've got. This is the MicroView, which was a wildly successful Kickstarter, and we actually manufacture the MicroView for that Kickstarter, and we will be selling this after we do all the Kickstarter fulfillment. For those of you not familiar with the MicroView, uh, we have a few different videos that you can check out to see what it does. But essentially, it is an Arduino little module. It has a OLED screen here. It has all your pins on the back. And this is a full-featured Arduino that plugs into this little programmer. The programmer is pretty much just your basic FTDI. Um, it just has a little bit different um, jack on it and a little bit different configuration. The concept behind the MicroView is that there's a lot of situations in where you need your development board, but you also just need to read a couple sensors and you might need some kind of visual display. The MicroView and the included libraries allows you to have all that in one little module that's really simple to use. So you can view all your sensor data, you can do like a little bar graph, you can do all that stuff on one little module and it's easy to plug into, it's nice and small and you have all of that encompassed into this one little thing. So if you want to learn more about the MicroView, check out the videos and we will have these for pre-order only. We will be fulfilling the Kickstarter orders up until somewhere around September and we expect these to start shipping sometime in October. So get your pre-orders in now. This week we also have the Redbot kit back in stock. We've been out of stock of the Redbot kit for, well, way too long, and now we have it back in stock. It has a couple of small improvements over the last iteration. Uh, you notice that we have the new accelerometer included in the kit. This one does not require soldering. It has the pass-through headers, so you can plug it in like that, and then you can still plug things on top of it. There are a couple minor tweaks to the main board, but this is the main board that we have been selling on the site, so it includes the newest main board. And if we look at the bottom, there is one big improvement here. You notice that we're not using the wheel encoder discs here. We actually have the dual output shafts. So we have the output shaft that goes to the actual wheels, and then we have another output shaft that goes on the back here. This works well with the Dagu wheel encoders that slap right on the back of the output shafts. So no longer do you have to use the little wheel discs and then put the encoder somewhere nestled inside there and figure that all out. You can actually just attach to the back of the shafts and run it directly to the board. So it makes um, the wheel encoding go a lot smoother. Speaking of robotic kits, what if you need something a little bit more durable than the Redbot? How about your, your very own tank? This is the T-Rex chassis. The T-Rex chassis works with the T-Rex controller that we released um, probably a few months ago, and this thing is solid, rugged, and durable. It is made all out of metal. We have this fantastic suspension, and it has these really beefy metal treads on it. Uh, I'm going to go over a couple quick little features of it, and Nick's got a really cool demo for you. The one thing that makes this chassis really interesting is these panels actually come off for easy access to the electronics. We have these little tabs on the side that flip open this, and a couple more that flip open that. So inside you can see there's a ton of space for all your different sensors and electronics, and we've got the motors right here, and here are the standoffs for the T-Rex controller, so you can just bolt that in, connect it, and you have all this space free. What I've done is I've created a gimbal using the Actobotics parts, and then I've attached uh, large continuous rotation servos to the... Uh, I've added the T-Rex motor controller to our new T-Rex chassis. And using the example code that comes with the controller, I've hooked it up to a standard hobby remote control receiver. So now uh, that only takes two channels to drive the tank, and so I wanted to use those extra channels for something fun. So I hooked up a couple of servos using our Actobotics parts and bolted them to the top of the tank here to create a rubber band turret so I can actually drive the tank as well as steer the turret and fire rubber bands.
<laughs> Sounds great. Oh, my other eye! Oh. <laughs>